Brittany Baker and John Martin have been exploring places all over the region, highlighting summertime adventures for you. They've been to Albuquerque and now they're back home in Colorado. Check it out some summertime dog sledding in Pagosa Springs. <laughs> So you're telling me that there's like a place where you can go dog sledding when it's not snowing? Yeah, we're going there. We're going there. What is it? Pagosa Dog Sled Adventures. Okay. Uh, and what do they pull you in? Um, I think it's like a, they soup up some golf cart and they hook up all the dogs and play through the mud. So that's what we're going to go do. We're back on the road, this time just a few miles away to Pagosa Dog Sled Adventures. And even though there's absolutely no snow to be seen, that doesn't stop these dogs from running all year round. We run our dogs on a modified golf cart, and uh, the dogs love pulling weight. Uh, they're Alaskan Malamutes and they're freight pulling dogs. As many people as we can fit on our rigs, they can pull. Um, so we run between eight up to 18 dogs at one time. Snow or mud, this is definitely a hands-on experience. We do interactive tours, so our clients are hands-on with the dogs. They're very well trained. Uh, they have excellent temperaments and they love kids. We also do a summer camp. Uh, so kids come to us and it's a day camp and they learn how to mosh the dogs. At the beginning of the camp we get um, two dogs and those are the dogs that we take care of for the time that we're here. Aside from the camp and tours, we learn that dog sledding is really more of a lifestyle and they get started young. I started mushing when I was 14 years old. I started with two Alaskan Malamute puppies. So when they got to be about six, seven months old, I hooked them both up to the scooter. But after I got those two, I got two more. And those dogs changed my entire world as far as mushing goes. Because my two boys didn't, uh, didn't really know what they were doing. And when I got those two girls, they have a lot more of what we call drive. The girls whipped the guys in the show? Yes, they did. So that, that made all the difference. Their desire to run is very high, and so these dogs are going to be barking and screaming and pulling the cart. The cart's going to be shaking. We're going to be holding on, and then we're going to pull our snub line, which is our anchor rope, and then we'll be out. Let's go! And then it will be silent. It's really incredible. When they start to run, they just go completely silent. They love it. That is great. Yeah. That is so great. Those dogs are so cute.